This is Palo Alto, California, and Stanford Stadium, the site for this incredible football game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Today's college football action is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste and zero calories. We've got the Colorado Buffaloes and the Cardinal of Stanford. This intense season continues, and we've got what should be a great game coming your way. For Colorado, a powerhouse free safety gets things going in their secondary. Let's see what he can do against a really strong quarterback. This will test a lot of his skills. Kickoff's just ahead, but first, let's take you down for the coin flip. And we'd like to take this moment to let you know our game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste and zero calories. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Robinson takes it at the four. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, first down. They're calling an audible. Kane with the option. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Passes, and it's almost picked off. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. He lets it go. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. So it's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Thomas to punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Signals for a fair catch. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. Brought down quickly. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. He lets it go. Swatted away. They know what to expect on third down, and we're right in place to break up the pass. It's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Robinson takes it at the 33. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, that's a holding penalty. Holding, holding on the receiver's end. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that.
from their own 27-yard line. First down. Give to the tailback. Good open field tackle. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Pitch play here, and they push him out at the 42-yard line. Bush gains around five yards on the toss play from scrimmage. Second down and five. Ball on the 42. Bush takes the toss left. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. He picks up about four yards on the toss play. He makes it to the 48-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. They line up in the jumbo set. They toss it, and he's got the corner. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. Bush gets eight yards on the play. From the 44-yard line, second down. They're packed in tight on the line. Pitch out. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Osborne only picks up about a yard there on the toss play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Here's the option left. He's knocked out of bounds at the 20. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. They go with the option. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Kane only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Kane calls an audible. Bush will run it again. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First down. Only seven yards from a touchdown. Kane adjusts the play at the line. Decent pickup. Bush gets six yards on the carry. Here's the 11th play of the drive. It's second down. And he's taken down at the one. Osborne picks up two yards with the carry. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. Here's the 12th play of the drive. They put everyone up on the line. He may have changed things up here. Another carry, and he's brought down for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. And they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Thomas has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback.
They'll go to work at the 20. We've got a first and 10. Goes left and tackled in a hurry. Baker gains around three yards on the run. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Drops back to pass. Brought down at the 40. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Franklin picks him up two yards with that catch. Second and eight, ball on their own 42. He's tackled behind the line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. The student section's going crazy. Tackled for a loss. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. From the 15. Tackle at the 27 yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. They'll get the ball here at the 27. It's first and 10. Kane options out. Makes it out to about the 36. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Option, left side. He's tackled in the open field. And he busts a huge gainer there. Boy, that one looked familiar. It looked like the exact same play they ran previously. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Kane options right side and now he pitches it tackled after a decent pickup a four yard gain by the halfback on the option second and six ball on the 40 yard line hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side the running back gets a yard maybe less good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game third down now they need to get it down to the 34 Stanford has a three-point lead Kane on the option makes it to the 21. Very intelligent play call. Dialing up the option on third down, and it worked like a charm. Osborne gets the ball. Nice run to the left there. Osborne gains about four yards on the play. Second and five. Ball on the 17. Kane running the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Stanford will take their first time out of the half. Third down again.
Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. Stanford calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. And it sails through the uprights. Stanford to kick this one off. He puts it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start this drive at the 20. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Baker gets six yards on the play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. The count here at Stanford Stadium is Stanford, six, Colorado, nothing. We are set to start the second half. Both teams are on the field, and we're ready to go. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. All right, we go down to Aaron Andrews for a quick update. Both sidelines seem to be contemplating their offensive issues as the half ended, Brad. I heard some players talking to one another about their frustrations, but the answer from both coaches was basically, hey, there's an entire half to play, and we're going to have to come out more prepared to make something happen. And for Stanford, they have to do a better job of getting pressure. Brad? Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Baker gains about five yards on the run. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Robinson fields it at the 35. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Not a bad return. They'll set up shop at the 45-yard line. First and 10. Stanford is up by six. They'll go with a toss, and he's got the corner. Look out. Gets out to around the 45. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Gets to about the 44-yard line, and the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 44. They line up in the jumbo set. Gets it on the pitch. Gets out to around the 22. The thing about the toss is if the blocking is set up well out in front of the runner, he can really pick up a good head of steam before he encounters any potential defenders. They're packed in tight on the line. Kane doesn't like what he sees. it and immediately hammered. Bush gains about two yards on the run. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. Osborne on the give. What a play and that is first and goal. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Stanford looking to go up by two scores. They run it, and he's in. That was a fantastic touchdown run by the halfback. This guy looks very impressive. When he has the ball in his hands, good things always seem to happen. 
So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They don't get it. A six-play, 55-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. So the score now, 12-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. Run the middle and nothing there. Baker gets around three on the halfback draw. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Rose and it's knocked away. When you're in zone coverage, that means your linebackers have got to be ready to defend the pass coming into their area. That was a good reaction to tip the ball away. They give it to the running back and not much there. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive and their execution was lacking. Robinson fields it at the 40. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Gets it on the pitch. Brought down in the open field. Bush gains around three yards on the toss play. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Bush gets a call. He's got an opening at the 30. Down the sideline. That was a good-looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Bush sweeps right. Nice gain as he works the right side. Bush comes away with five yards on the carry. Second down, 11 yards out. run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offense coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And they won't get the two. A four-play, 58-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 18, nothing. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. The count here at Stanford Stadium is Stanford, 18, Colorado, nothing. Finds his receiver who's all alone. And they tackle him at the 49. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle here. Franklin drops back. Let's get out of the field for the official call. Offside. On the defense. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. From the 32-yard line, first down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Pitch right and taken down for a loss. 
Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Fires deep down the left side. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. The Cardinal call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. He's looking for six. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Pitch right and tackled immediately for a loss. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. It's second and 13. Ball on the 30-yard line. Kane steps back to pass. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Kane changes the play at the line. This one is batted away. Smart play, being ready for the pass and swatting it away. Fourth down, the punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Smart awaiting the return. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. First and five now after the penalty. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He was under some pressure there. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, you have so many things to worry about. What's the coverage? Where's the pressure coming from? And so on that you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball. Here, he just missed a target. Throws it out there. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Just under three to go in regulation. Franklin, back to pass. And they sack him on fourth down. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Gets out to about the 21. Bush gets around three on that toss to the halfback. Second down and seven. Ball on the 21. Just over two minutes in the game. Here's a pitch left side. Makes it out to about the 10. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. Again, touchdown, Cardinal. Yeah, there's the icing on the cake. They played a terrific game, and this will put the official stamp on it. And he adds the extra point. 
It was a quick three-play, 24-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 25 nothing. Stanford ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will start at the 20-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Franklin drops back to pass. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. Franklin gains about two yards on the scramble. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And they got some pressure on him that time. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. And he's immediately tackled. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He looks to throw on first down, and it's knocked away. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Just over a minute left. Baker on the inside handoff, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. We have less than a minute to go. Franklin drops to throw. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Robinson fields it at the 22. He makes it to the 35-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 35-yard line. And for Bush, putting up good numbers. You know, the most impressive thing you could say is not only does the entire defense know, the entire stadium knows he's going to get the football, and they still cannot slow him down. That's a commitment by the running back. It's also a commitment by the offensive line and the coach. This guy has such powerful legs, as we've seen all day today. An arm tackle's not going to bring him down. You've got to get in front of him and wrap him up to have any chance of slowing him down. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, sometimes it doesn't matter how fast you are. You're not going to outrun that kind of pursuit. Kane, options right, gets to around the 42. Stanford will call a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. Kane, options left, very good tackle in space. Bush picks up a yard on the play. And that's the end of the ball game. And our final score in this one, Stanford, 25, Colorado, nothing. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? This didn't have the makings of an especially tight matchup. And while these young men did fight hard, they couldn't come up with any points. Stanford probably figured they had a walkover today, so credit their defense for never letting up and pitching the shutout. And for Bush, his superb play merits the honor of player of the game. For the Cardinal, they remain unbeaten. They pick up their fifth win of the season. And for Colorado, they fall to 3-2 and two on the season. For EA Sports... Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks for joining us in NCAA Football 12.
and we'll see you next time.